So was the advantage <laughs> of the high ground that that large, you know, for Obi Wan? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I I uh, I have a little bit of um, combat training myself. Mm-hmm. Um, in uh, sword fighting of that style, it's it's arguable. Um, it's not, it's not the way I would have written it, but, right. uh, how would you have written it if, if you had free reign? Ooh, ooh, that's a tough one. Um, because actually when I was, um, when I was writing the, the uh, novel, I made a conscious decision not to focus on the things that people were going to be able to see on screen interesting in the film um you may notice that that uh, almost nothing uh in the story is described uh like visually described except for um you know devices that we have seen from other films mm-hmm. and things like that you know x-wings and and whatever because i knew what those were going to look like the other stuff mm, i didn't know the only thing I, the only thing I really knew about the physical environment, was that the uh, that Grievous's flagship had a uh, a tower on it that uh, I think they they refer to in the screenplay as I mean in the the stage directions on the screenplay, not mm-hmm. not in the dialogue as the Wizard's Tower. Oh wow! Um, that's but that was all I knew about how things were going to look and none of the um, actual fighting is described in the shooting yeah. script of course because that's that's what you have stunt coordinators and and people you right. know they come in and, and do that kind of in the moment I guess um, uh, how I would have done it hmm I probably I probably would have, um, resolve that fight by having Anakin overcommit. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, try too hard, uh, swing too wide, and uh, Obi Wan pull a kind of Aikido like move and flip him into the lava. And that's mm-hmm. probably what I would have done if I were if I had free reign to write it. Mm-hmm. But um, 